Okay, just bought an Apple TV, and I have to say that um, I'm pretty impressed. You can't see it, but it's down at the bottom right of the TV, barely. You see a little white dot. It's four inches by four inches. I can't put into perspective how small they made them. When I bought it, I, I thought it was going to be a Mac Mini kind of size. You know, you would need room on your set-top entertainment center to see it. But anyway, um, what I wanted to demo here was the iPad control. So I went into the remote application. It's free to download from the uh, iTunes store. And when you, you turn on the home sharing and it detects your Apple TV on your network. So I'm going to try and do this and operate it at the same time. So there's a thing here at the bottom that says you can use gestures to control the Apple TV. That's what we're going to do. So if you look, what I'm doing is I'm doing gestures like this is a big mouse pad. But what it's doing, this is my Netflix queue, by the way. I just tap the screen. And I'm, all I'm doing is my gestures on my iPad, same way you would if you were navigating around on the iPad, and it knows it. This is absolutely worth its weight in gold. I, mean, I, I can't, for a lazy person like me, I mean, just wow. And it's wired right now, it's not wireless, so I'm curious to see how the performance is on uh, 802.11n, but this is gigabit Ethernet right now. Actually, I think it's 10100 on the Apple TV, so. There's all the scrolling. Yeah, some Beavis and Butthead. Episodes. Play. Tap menu, it goes back. Menu, it goes back. Little menu button on the bottom of it. It's basically the full screen of the iPad. The other thing you can do with the remote, I don't know if you've ever gotten into it, is that you can access an iTunes library. Right now, my media server is turned off that has all my uh, iTunes media library plugged in, but you'll see it and you can control it. It looks like iTunes on the iPad, but you'll have all of your music, all of your movies, and it should stream to the iPad. And what I'm curious about is how do you get it to play stuff on the iPad? So that's one thing I got left to investigate. So anyway, there you go. Quick demo. iPad remote.